Hey guys and welcome back. Today, because a lot of you have asked for it, I'm going to be talking about the drugs that I've been given for my donor egg IVF cycle. Um, I've got a picture that I'm going to put in somewhere around here which shows you the mass of drugs I picked up. So I got mine from Asda because I did a little bit of research and apparently they have the lowest prescription charges. I didn't go and get quotes anywhere, I just wanted to go and get them. These cost £197. They do look really big because most of them are actually the applicators that you use for the pessaries. Um, so there's a lot of boxes of these and the actual tablets are only um, this box and then I've got the oral tablets here. So let's um, crack on. So these are the Prognova, I think they pronounced Prognova and they are two milligrams of estrogen pretty much and these are the ones I need to take first. So this is my... Um, protocol here and it's a protocol for egg recipient cycle so this is our my daily drug treatment regime um, and you're supposed to be pretty serious with this one so aim to take at the same time each day make sure you don't miss anything and it, do, it is a bit juicy so I started these yesterday and I'm on four milligrams for the first five days so I've got to take two of these two milligram tablets at the same time in the evening. So that's what I'm doing for day one to five. And then day six, I'm going to be increasing to eight milligrams. So I'll take two of these in the morning and two of these in the evening. Then um, I have to have, oh no, that's only for four days. So it's five days at two of these in the evening four days at two lots of two lots of these so two in the morning two in the evening and then on day 10 i've got increased to 12 milligrams so two in the morning two at lunchtime two in the evening so i've been trying to work out my times because i work evenings so i think i'm aiming for about 8 a.m 3 p.m and 10 p.m so we tried to work it out that it's quite even so that's my aim then on day 11, I have to have a scan and blood test. So the blood test will test how much estrogen it has got into my blood bloodstream. And by then, I'll be on 12 milligrams a day. So this is the applicator. And it's just a little... It's just basically like a tampon applicator. And then one of these tablets just sits in the top. And you just put it in and push the applicator basically simple as and then get a fresh one and then do it again so i'll be going through six of these a day um towards the end of it all but the pretty cool thing is i did start worrying about keeping track of everything but the brand actually have an app so it tells you about what it does and it also has a reminder sort of facility on it so you can program in when you're going to take it and it's got sort of animated videos of how to use them as well which i think is pretty cool literally me and tom sat there and just both went there's an app for everything so um with the yeah pessaries i'll continue with the 12 milligrams of the um prognova is it prognova yeah prognova so the estrogen and then i'll take two pessaries three times a day and um that is 400 milligrams of progesterone and at the moment i think i'm on about it's either 20 or 40 so that's heavy <laughs> that's heavy so you have to continue the 12 milligrams of prognova and the 400 milligrams of the progesterone throughout the two week wait until you do your test date and then if it's confirmed i believe you continue but it does say that you'll be told what to do next basically so i did um get the side effects out of the progesterone and it just says local itching burning or discharge and i think that's pretty much a given if you're putting something up there there's going to be some irritation so if you are on this 
I've read about it and I was told from the drug lady, <laughs> the drug lady, um, that you would need um, liners. So that's it. Um, not having any injections. They decide they apparently the pessaries are actually more effective than injections. So that's what they tend to go there. I guess it goes straight to the source. And the purpose of this is to get your lining nice and juicy and ready for transfer. It even says in the leaflet, it's that it's used to help pregnancy. It's used to assist fertility treatment techniques using your own eggs, such as IVF, um, which is bad. I'm not using my own eggs. You should not be discriminating. You need to change this. It's not my fault. My ovaries got bored. Um, yeah, and that's it. So basically, I think some people have this just to help with pregnancy as well. I'm not sure. But uh, I hope that's been useful because I know that I, I went on like fertility websites and chat rooms and Google and I just couldn't find what drugs you take in a donor recipient cycle. I found it what you take if you were a donor but not if you're a recipient and I just like being clued up. I like knowing what's going on. So hopefully that was useful. Um, let me know what experiences you've had it have with it if you've had a different brand or whatnot let me know so i started this yesterday so i'll be taking my second lot of four milligrams of estrogen today so that's giving you an indication of how quickly everything's coming along so um yes i'm gonna be trying to do videos pretty much every day now about everything i'm gonna do a little bit of vlogging as well see how it goes because i'm really enjoying this and also i'm going to do vlogmas so i make a lot of homemade gifts and things like that so i'm going to show you what i do you might want to watch you might not want to um most of the time i think i'll be making gifts because i'll probably be in my two week wait then so i might just be bombarding youtube with rubbish but hopefully you'll enjoy it so let me know how you're getting on in your treatments um and yeah also a few more guesses how many eggs have i got have a few more guesses and I'm making a video about that just after I finish filming this one. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like the videos because it's really, really keeping me motivated knowing that I'm getting so much love. And keep with the comments. I do love hearing from you. And I hope I am making sure I reply to everybody. I'm trying. If I haven't, just write again and say oi. <laughs> right, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.